Hey everyone, in today's video, I am going to show you how to sketch this panorama scene with pen and ink. You may notice that some of the buildings, they don't have a lot of details. That's because in the second part of the video, that's where I will color the sketch with watercolor and add in the details. This is the reference photo that you can download using the link in the video description below. So this is the casino area of Macau. Most of the casinos are here and this one this is a tall one, it's cropped off. This is actually the most iconic one. So since this is cropped off, our focus will be on the casinos here between these two lampposts. And the buildings, they are very interesting because of the shapes. We have rectangular blocks, we have curved blocks, circular blocks, and we have these two buildings here. You can see the lines. One goes up and the other one curves down. And if you take a closer look at the wall, the side of the building, you can see a lot of white lines on top of the color. So before I draw this, I need some sort of planning. I think I'm going to paint this block as a single color and then use my white gel pen to draw all those lines, all those uh, white lines. That may be easier because a lot of buildings here, they have those um, white lines on top of the color. There are a lot of people, which is great because it makes the scene look lively. Now this photograph was taken during the evening time and unfortunately there's no light and shadows, so everything looks a bit flat. And we have um, some lampposts, which is good because they will help you sort of frame your sketch and also help you place the building so for example we have lampposts on the left and on the right we have this lamppost here in the middle it's actually not directly in the middle i think it's somewhere on the left side the left edge of this building here it's, it's it looks like it's directly in the middle yeah so we know that since this is directly in the middle this building here is on the right side it's going to be on the right side of the page and this here, it's going to be in the middle of these two points here. And the height of this building, if you compare it to the height of the lamppost, it's shorter. So later on, I will be drawing the lamppost first before I place in all the buildings. So every element in the scene, the size, the proportion is in relation to other elements in the scene. So this building here, for example, it's about half the height of the lamppost. And this bus here, it's about a quarter or one third of the height of this building here. And the people here, about half the height of the bus. So everything, uh, when you're drawing, always be comparing with other elements in the scene. This is the customized sketchbook that I'm using that is made by the Society of Physical Disabled here in Singapore. And this paper is indigo art papers 100 percent cotton handmade watercolor paper and these are the two pages that i'll be using today because i'll be drawing white this is the pen that i'm using this is the namiki falcon fountain pen with a fine nib this is a rather complicated scene with a lot of details so i'm going to use my pencil First, to mark out the important elements to get the general proportion first. So I'm going to draw the lamppost first, the one on the left side, and one on the right side here. So somewhere in the middle will be about here. This is the middle line. So this is where the circular building will be. And this is the left edge of the circular building. And we have the shorter building on the left side here. So basically just mark out the general shapes. So this is the left edge of the shorter building, the one with the curved roof here. And I think I need to perhaps draw this a bit bigger because once I draw this, I realize that uh, by comparison, this should be a bit bigger. 
because the gap between these two buildings it's not that big it's a bit smaller the gap of these two buildings between these two buildings is actually about slightly uh, smaller than the width of this building here and we have another building here the line comes up here comes on like this and this building here comes on like this and the lampposts will be about here so this part here from what I can see it sort of stops right here I think it yep so you can use this stage use the pencil to mark out the general shapes so that later on when you ink it when you draw with pen and ink it's easier you can of course start with pen and ink it doesn't matter whether you start with pencil or pen and ink just that with pen and ink you have to be a bit more um, cautious about the proportion and the shapes so this is the trees we have the buses here and okay from what i can see it seems like this lamppost it's is a bit further on the i mean right now i've drawn it too far on the left side it should be closer here right it should be closer here and we have this this casino here i think this casino is the grand lisboa and we have all the cars here so for the cars let me just draw this horizon line to represent the road that the cars are on okay so we have some bus stops right here and all the people will be standing here and this area here this area right in front is actually a circular area so there's some curve to it and then when it goes to the right edge it curves back in because this is a circular road there is one bus here that overlaps the building behind now in the reference photo this bus is like a is shaped like a square but i'm going to use my artistic um, license to show more of the side of the bus because if it's just a square uh, it's difficult to tell that it's a bus okay so i think that's it and now we can start drawing with pen and ink let's start by drawing from the left to the right so i'm going to draw this building here the one that is not the circular one and then we have this shape here this round this curved shape which is really interesting and then we have this line that goes straight up before it curves and yeah i think this is basically the shape here and we'll add the details later on so now let's draw the lamppost here now the lamppost is going to start further below compared to the bottom of the building in fact i can draw the line of the building here this line is tilted upwards because of the vanishing point so this is the lamppost that goes all the way to the up that goes all the way up sorry and should stop here comes down here so we'll add the details later on again let's draw the trees here and we have another lamppost here so for this lamppost it's about half i mean the top of the lamppost is in between these two points here so it's going to start here and then it goes down like this so i want to draw some details for the lamppost then goes down like this goes down into sorry goes down in front of the trees behind and then we have the building here this is curved up like this and then it goes down we have the trees in front of the building and then this looks like a horizontal line that goes across 
and this side of the building the casino Lisboa it goes up like this and goes to the right side here now later on I will be using the opaque marker to write the name of this building and then this is the taller section of the building so this is very close to the edge I'm just going to push it down to draw it down here like this and this is where the building will curve down this is the side of the wall curve down like this and we have some bus stops that are in front so we need to draw those bus stops now all these buildings um, they will be left blank because later on I'll be coloring this shape and this shape with watercolor and the white lines will be added on with the white gel pen so I see some little details here so I just want to draw those in okay so next up let's move on to the right side there's this curve here and we have this building right here now this building this circular building it's it's quite close to this building on the left side and the height it's this is the height here before it turns here like this so this comes down like this so notice I didn't really draw on top of the pencil lines those pencil lines are there just as a some sort of um, help a guide for reference purposes so this is the top of the of this circular building so the front of the building here there are some structures here so I want to draw them as well these structures are behind the bus stop there's one bus stop that starts here and then goes across now the, some of the bus stops um, they are a bit difficult for me to see because of the reference photo if I'm drawing on location um, there's I mean there's no way for me to zoom in but with a reference photo I can actually zoom in to see the details so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom in and then we have this and next we are going to draw this building on the side that building the height it's here it will come down here like this and then it's it will go horizontally to about the halfway point before it curves up and the height of this building it's here it aligns with this point here and then I can draw it down like this now notice as I am drawing I am um, taking into consideration other elements in the scene like for example this point here should be higher it aligns to this point here and then it curves down like this before it comes down like this and this point here will come here to this point before it comes down and this building here will go up this point here it's higher than this point so each time I draw I am comparing with other elements that are already in the scene so this curve should be more curved okay so we can continue drawing the bus stops there is another lamppost here so let's draw that goes all the way down and this lamppost seems to be behind a bus that is here and this bus this left edge of the bus is to the left side of this line here so I'm using that as a comparison to this is the back of the bus and then the front of the bus 
and this is the other bus that I was talking about the one that is just a square you can definitely draw exactly what you see using the reference photo but then it's just going to look like a square but if you turn the bus around so that you can see the side of the bus it's going to be more obvious that this is a bus and also on the side you can see more details you can see the wheels when you see the wheels you will know that instantly this is some sort of vehicle now in the photograph this lamppost here it's very close above the line or almost overlapping this building here it's almost directly above this line here but if you're going to draw it like that it's not going to be clear it's not going to make the building clear so i want to move the lamppost to the side slightly i'm going to move it here the base is going to start here i'm using the bus that i have drawn to draw to look place the base of the lamppost and then I'm going to draw this all the way up like this and then it comes down again so by placing the lamppost away from the building now we can clearly see the separation if I place it if I draw this lamppost on top of the building it's uh, it's going to be a bit confusing and then we can draw the trees behind the lamppost but in front of this casino next we shall draw the bus so i have this shelter this line here this is actually the shelter of the bus stop there is a signboard here i, I can see that there's a signboard here that starts the height of the signboard is here and there is another signboard here a bit lower it's a small circular signboard and this bus stop I'm going to draw the height of this bus stop now this height from what I can see it's about the height of this building so this height here that I just drew this is about the height of this building so I'm using that building that I have drawn to get the height these are the stands for that bus stop there are people there so let me just draw one first just to get the, the proportion so this person is standing here right at the bus stop so this is the height of the person I'm going to add more people later on but I just want to place one person there first just to get the height and this is the platform that they are standing and this platform will go all the way to the left side and stop about stop right here it will, stop, it will stop here just below this building here so the more you measure the more you take into consideration other elements in your scene the more accurate your sketch is going to be so this platform it's going to curve down like this because this is a circular road and there is some thickness to the platform so i have this signboard that comes here so i think i placed the signboard um, at the wrong position e did i or maybe this this platform should go further to the left side maybe it should okay so there is another platform that is behind and this platform it's here it shall come here this and for this platform this is where that sign uh, will be and this is where the bus will be I'm going to draw a wheel here I'm going to draw this line and draw another wheel here and this is the front of the bus this is the back of the bus the back of the bus it's longer compared to the front of the bus you can use the wheels to find out where you are this is the front and the windows another wheel here 
and another bus here. Okay. So there are some people crossing the road. Let me just place that person here. In the photo, that person is actually on the left side, but I'm just going to place it on the right side. Anyway, people are always moving, so um, you can draw them anywhere. But uh, but the but one thing to note is the eye level of those people. So this photograph was taken. This photograph was taken with me standing so my eye level is the same as the eye level of all these people which means all these people their eyes will be at the same level so when you draw people you have to place the head at the eye level you can draw a person that is very far away let's say i have there is actually another bus stop here so let's draw that bus stop first there are a lot of overlapping bus stops now let's say there's a tiny person here that is very far away, so small that I can only represent the person with the, the head of the person with one dot. Uh, so that head will be here. So this is the head of the person. That's the dot. And notice that this eye level, the eye level of the, all these people, they are at the same level. And eye level of these two person at the same level, but these people they are smaller and they look further away so this is the head and this is the body this is the head this is the body you have to place the head at the eye level if you place the head here obviously it's going to look off if you place the head here for example which is slightly higher it's also going to look a bit off so now it's all about adding details, drawing the bus stops, drawing all the people. So there's one person seated here. Drawing details, it's the fun part, but it's also the tedious part. These are the sign bots for, at the bus stop. Most of the details are actually in front here at the bus stop. So now for this part of the video, I'm just going to fast forward it. Draw the big ships first. Draw the bus stops first. Then draw the stands for the bus stops. Draw the bus stops that are behind. Draw the stands for the bus stops that are behind. Draw the platform. And then draw the people that are on the platform. So it's a, uh, it's very time consuming, but once you see your sketch come to life, it's going to be very satisfying to see all those little details, people standing around, sitting around waiting for their buses. By the way, if you want to support my YouTube channel, you can check out my Gumroad page or the Patreon page. I have other tutorials, full length uh, courses like how to draw courses that you can learn drawing if you don't know how to draw. For these buildings in the far background, you don't need a lot of details. So for the windows, I'm just going to represent them with little dots because you cannot really see the windows. You can just, you can just see the impression of the windows. So basically just keep on adding details to your sketch. And when you come to a point where you don't know if you can add any more details, that is when you stop adding details. The 
more time you spend observing, the more accurate your sketch will be. When you're drawing, think about the lines, think about the angles for those lines. The sketch is almost complete. I just need to round off the root. So this will come here, and then curves here. The curve is quite tight. I think I drew a bit um, too rounded. The curve is actually quite tight. So I made a mistake there, and then it should curve down like this. So this sketch is almost complete. I just need to look around the sketch to see if I've left out any areas where I need details. Wow, can you hear the pen nib scratching the surface? Now there is this sidewalk here and there are some people. So I'm going to draw those people with just dots like this. All right, there is this bus here. This is a bus. This is the wheel and more dots here to represent the people. Now these dots, they are at the same eye level as all the other people in the scene. There's another little detail here that I almost forgot. So you do have to look around your sketch to see if you have left out anything. So this is the completed sketch. Let me zoom in to let you see the details. So in the next tutorial, I will be coloring this sketch with what color? And that video is going to be a limited color palette video. So see all these people here, they really add life to the scene. So don't be afraid of drawing people. You don't have to draw like them really detailed. You just have to use shapes to represent those people.